evening. And yes, evening and weird surroundings. We've got our awning and our annex out. Pretty flash, got some drapes as well. We bought those from the old house, thinking that they'll come in handy for mosquito nets and things, but uh, actually quite nice. So yeah, we're parked up in Kalgoorlie. We're um, having a bit of a pit stop here. Um, we've got um, some family to see and uh, help out and uh, moving from Kalgoorlie. And while we're here, we um, hooked up with some uh, old tyres, um, employment-wise and things. Hey, petrol's getting old diesel, but the old van's getting quite expensive travelling around Australia. And we thought uh, we'll get a little bit more petrol money, diesel money, and, um, and hopefully too the old diesel prices will settle down a little. Um, and of course, the weather ahead of us um, has been uh, horrific with flooding and everything. So. We figured everything needs to dry out, so whilst we're here, we can um, sort of kill two birds with one stone, earn a bit of money, and just let everything all settle down. So um, we've got a, a special package arrived because we've uh, been parked up here with an address that we can get things, and taking advantage of a uh, a good um, end of the year special. So it's kind of twisted our arm. So we've taken advantage of this, and before we do the big unveil here. We've got a dirty old mat. We've had this in the van since we started. It's a memory foam, and uh, honestly, the memory foam's clapped out. And we're just thinking about it is rubbish. We're actually using it as an outside doorstep instead of an inside doorstep now. And um, we're about to look for an alternative. And Judy was just doing some uh, work around uh, Cal and bumped, up, bumped into a lovely guy um, that um, has a little craft. And we just had to show this to you because I reckon it is absolutely fantastic. So this is a big thank you out to um, Kerry, I believe. Thank you, Kerry. He's worked really, really hard at doing this beautiful rug. It's a I've said to Jude, it's a little bit heavy, but we're gonna live with it. Jude said that she'll get rid of some of her clothing and bits and pieces to make up for it. Um, and you could use it both sides. So there's a inside there, but oh, that memory foam, yeah, this is the best. Anyway, thank you, Kerry. That was your clothes, not mine. <laughs> yeah, put something in there for that. Right, darling. Um, just excuse me. I really don't know too much about it, but yeah, I've seen lots of people do reveals and things, and I thought, oh well, we'll do a little reveal as well. Hopefully, it's as easy as what they show. So, out of the box, we've got the usual single piece of card. We're going to probably keep the box so that we can um, store it um, when we pop it down and travel with it. So all that moulding and bits and pieces uh, will come in handy. I have, I have joined a Starlink Facebook page and uh, there's been some pretty help, helpful um, hints on how to store it and things which we'll look at later. later. I've heard somebody talk about a, a Makita. A Makita um, drill bag or something, apparently this one fits in, so we'll have a look at stuff like that. And also Kings have got an aluminium box that it fits and works as well, so. We've got our stand, and Dishy himself, or herself, and I've seen the nice, simple, easy, I like that, there's no, there's no words, it's all pictures. Better get everything out of the box. Our router, do you call it a router? So we've got heaps of cord. 75 feet of cord, they say, and there we go. Just she's sitting in there. As I said, ton of cord plug. It's obviously weatherproof. Um, we had our router and cord, and there's a little instruction booklet of what's and not. <clears throat> Alrighty, so wish me luck. Try and plug this in. Don't fall off. No ACC here. <laughs> well, straight away, Starlink's finds an obstruction. Oh, it says I'm ready. So I'm pushing over. I'm ready. So then it says, good. Stand the entire sky. Thank you. Let me get my to twist around here. And I don't know whether you can see it from there, but there's. It's like I'm picking up a bunch of snowflakes. 42%, 53%, coming around. I do have my safety harness on. 
No. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. I don't think the ninth is in the stock for some reason. So I've opened up my Wi Fi on my phone and it's come up with the Starlink. So we're popping onto that. Obviously, we're going to have to rename the Starlink and things what we want. So uh, it's connecting to Starlink. And now it's going to probably ask for a password. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Sign into the network. Alrighty, hi. I'll be back with you soon. Okay, so um, we've just gone into, um, we've got the setup, we've got the power connect, it's just configuring. A little trap for us was our um, just setting up that um, connect with your passwords and your, um, your was it like your domain name or whatever it is. It didn't like um, apostrophes and semicolons and things so it had to be just one straight word so we got there. So Starlink will use temporary Wi-Fi network to connect. Just lost the fucking phone. So I'm going to say, yep, connect. Sweet as RV is our... We've done our um, sign-in with our, um, our name and our password. Look at that, set up complete. You're all set. So uh, we can go done. And then we get a, yep, sweet as RV <laughs> is online. Visibility and of course what everybody needs to know, you're probably sick of seeing it, I am too, but you've got to do it. So we need a comparison of what our um, current provider to what we can get here. And I'll be honest with you, the reason we got the Starlink is that we have paid top dollar for a premium um, uh, provider. We've gone through the top end of Australia and I would say our monthly um, cost We've only got 50% of our month that we could actually use mm. our device. Um, hey, it's been good, and it's been. And it's not like the be ends or ends all of camping and tramping. We don't need it, but um, yeah, for, for a bit of work, bit of business, bit of contact with friends and family. And the biggest thing with the internet is that quite often it's determined where we end up each night. So when we're doing the wiki camps, it's going like, oh, well, we'd love to stay by that beach or that, that lookout or that river or that lake, but it's got no internet. We'll move on to the next one. And then next thing you know, you're on the side of the road. Oh, you got internet, but then you got a really nice, attractive view. We're hoping that something like Starling, oh, I don't care where I park up, if this is a beautiful spot, I can have the internet. So we'll run with that. I've done two mounts. I've done one here on the trailer and the other one you can see up there on the motorhome. So um, ideally the motorhome is good because of height but then if I'm in a um, shady area I can um, probably detach the trailer and sort of have it out and run the lead or yeah obviously just leave the Starlink down there on the ground. So I'll show you a closer look at uh, what we've done here. Right now inside the van, this is our um, dining room table area and uh, just down um, underneath the seat here is where the uh, little hole is for the access for the cables and it comes up around the, uh, the swab and there's Starlink there with the um, power for 240 and then underneath the swab there I have a, uh, I've got a 1500 watt inverter yeah, so there we go, got the power cord up here comes down the side, down the side of the van and uh, down the bottom here. We've got our little um, inlet for our power, so uh, keeps it all nice and tidy. I've also been busy up here on the roof uh, since being in Kalgoorlie. I've had this 160 watt panel and I had a um, portable, you might notice. But putting the portable in and out for extra power and bits and pieces was a bit of a pain. Once again, I had the portable so that if I was underneath a tree or something, I could put it out. But we'll see how we go with now. I couldn't see too much problem with having the two, so I bought another 160 and um, I've tidied everything up a lot more. If I didn't have a proper little cable housing and all that sort of stuff I made do with what I had. So I've installed that and that's going down into a, um, a 500 watt inverter and I hope to run Starlink out of that 
um, it's a pure sine wave inverter. Um, I know it's in a metal box, but Starlink can be, the router can be uh, pulled out. And there's my Starlink on the van. You can see once again, I've only just mounted the two little box section aluminiums, put in four bolts, put uh, some nuts on top, and that way I can remove that and bring it in and out as I want. It's once again only up mm -hmm. there so that the Starlink is secure whilst we're parked. Um, so I've used a double-sided uh, Gorilla tape from Bunnings that holds 30 pounds. It's not going anywhere I'm sure and I'll check on it regularly. Right, so if you get the idea what I've gone and done is I've gone and done the two bars underneath the roof rack and you can see four bolts. So those bolts are so that I can easily um, with a little step ladder um, quickly bolt Starlink on the roof here securely enough so it won't blow off the roof that's the whole reason not for travel just so that it doesn't blow off the roof while it's stationary this is just a little uh, quick update on our Starlink you can see up there on the roof of the van um, all I can say is absolutely incredible amazing um, it's um, working really really well we're about to hit the road very soon so we're going to pop it in from residential to um, motion uh, um, i think they call it or something um, mobile and um, yeah we'll keep you posted on uh, how's, how's it going but as far as uh, what we were receiving from our previous provider this thing is just excuse the pun moonbeams <laughs> out there so yeah thanks for watching hey everyone thanks for watching it's been good bringing this content along, we've really enjoyed it. Um, if you'd like to see more of it, please uh, hit the like, share and follow button. Um, also the comment, drop a comment in the line there if you want to see anything. Um, or can help us um, find um, new uh, material and things as well. Um, so yeah, thank you for following Sweet As RV.